Good day everyone. My name is Mr. Chisum. So today we'll be looking at the femoral triangle. So the femoral triangle is defined as a depression that is found in the anterior one third of the thigh. It is found in the anterior one third of the thigh. So the femoral triangle allows the passage of different vessels and different nerves. So it allows the passage of different blood vessels and different nerves that move to the thigh. This is the femoral triangle. So you can see this triangular depression. Look at it. You can see it is a triangle. This is how it goes. This is it. So it is a triangle. So let's look at the boundaries of the femoral triangle before going over to its content. So the lateral border is formed by the media border of the sartorius. So the media border of the sartorius muscle forms the lateral border of the femoral triangle. Then the media border is formed by the border of the adductor longus. So this is the adductor longus. The media border of the adductor longus forms the, the media border of the femoral triangle. Then the apex is formed by the sartorius muscle and the adductor longus. So the point that the sartorius muscle meets with the adductor longus is where the apex is. So you can see the apex of the femoral triangle. Then the base is formed by the inguinal ligament. This is the inguinal ligament. So the base of the femoral triangle is formed by the inguinal ligament. Then the floor of the femoral triangle is formed by the pectineus muscle. So the floor is formed by this pectineus muscle here. It is also formed by the psoas muscle. Then the floor is also formed by the idiacus. So the pectineus muscle, the psoas muscle here, and the idiacus muscle here forms the floor of the femoral triangle. Then the roof of the femoral triangle is formed by the stain. You can see the reflected stain. When it covers the femoral triangle, you can see it forms the roof. Not just the stain, the deep fascia also forms the roof. And this superficial vessel here, this is the great saphenous vein. When you reflect, is a superficial vein. It's run down through the superficial fascia of the skin. So I have to separate it. When you cover the femoral triangle, you see that the saphenous vein also forms the roof of the femoral triangle. Then having said that, let's go over to the content of the femoral triangle. The first content of the femoral triangle from media to lateral, the first is this vein. This is the femoral vein. So the femoral vein is one of the contents of the femoral triangle. Then we have this as one of the contents. This is the femoral nerve. It's one of the contents of the femoral triangle. Then we have this as one of the contents of the femoral triangle. This is the femoral artery. Then the femoral artery gave some branches. This is the femoral artery here, and it gave off this branch. This branch is known as the deep artery of the thigh. The deep artery of the thigh, or the profunda femoris. Then this profunda femoris also gave some branches. It gave this branch, and it also gave this 
branch. So these are the contents of the femoral triangle. These are the contents of the femoral triangle. So let me do a recap. I said that the femoral triangle is defined as a depression that is found in the anterior one third of the thigh. So I told her that this is the femoral triangle. Then the femoral triangle is bounded laterally by the media border of the sartorius, medially by the border of the adductor longus. The apex is formed by the sartorius and the adductor longus. The base is formed by the inguinal ligament. The roof is formed by the skin, deep fascia, and also the saponous vein, which I showed us, the saponous vein. Then the floor is formed by the pectineus muscle. The floor is also formed by the psoas muscle and the idiacus muscle. Then the contents, I told us the contents are from media to lateral, the femoral vein, the femoral nerve, the femoral artery, which have branches. So, remember that the essence of this triangle is to allow neurovascular structures that move to the lower limb to be able to pass through. So, I will encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Learn with Chisholm Great, like this video, share this video to your friends, and comment on this video. Thank you very much.